Good morning, everybody, and welcome. My name is Mr. Eric. I'm here at the library on Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst. And uh, today for STEAM, we will be exploring light and color. So, what is color? Well, color is actually a certain frequency of light. And well, what is light? Well, light is a form of energy on the electromagnetic scale. We use the electromagnetic scale to measure the waves of light. And visible light is actually just a very small portion of that electromagnetic scale. Now, there was another gentleman who thought really long and hard about light and color and what it was and what its properties were. And this was Sir Isaac Newton. Actually, back in 1666, he began to perform experiments with light utilizing a prism. He did a bunch of other experiments and kind of set forth some principles that ultimately became laws of physics, the Newtonian laws of physics. He published a paper eventually, or presented a paper rather, in 1671. So he really thought long and hard about all this stuff. Anyway, uh, for our practicals today, what we'll be doing is we'll be creating a prism. What we're gonna use is some plastic. I have some old plastic from one of the kind of like little signs that had broken. Some rulers, a razor, and scissors. You can go out and get some plastic card, uh, some kind of rather thick plastic card, not, not kind of flimsy plastic. I'm also going to be using a hot glue gun, but you can actually use normal super glue. Uh, you just have to wait a little bit longer for the super glue to set up. And you also have to make sure that what we build, the prism we build is going to be watertight. Then for the flashlight, what we're going to do is we're going to build a small containment for it so we can focus the light using some cardboard. Well, anyway, let's get started and we'll, we'll start by making our prism. So let's clear our workspace to get it ready. Oh, and I also have gotten a couple of... Uh, colored lenses to, to exemplify what we'll find out once we've built the prism. So I wanted to take a moment real quick to explain the technique that I'm going to use to cut the plastic. It's a technique called scoring and popping, where you take a straight edge and a razor, you lay the straight edge on the marks of where you want to cut the plastic, and you lightly, with a little bit of pressure, drag the razor over the plastic, creating a small groove. You continue to use the razor, cutting deeper and deeper into the plastic using light pressure. You do not want to use heavy pressure because if you slip, you could hurt yourself. And of course, if you're uncomfortable, have an adult help you out. So here we are, and just measuring it out, we're gonna do eight inches by ultimately 11 inches, but then we're gonna cut it, cut it out. And here I'm just using a small uh, push pin to make my little marks because uh, two, 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 two dots will make a line. And here I'm just using that technique to just lightly gouge out the plastic. And then I put it against the edge of the table and pop off. And then I use the razor to just trim up the edges so it's nice and clean. And here I'm doing the other side. You want to make sure that you're comfortable in what you're doing. And if you're, again, if you're uncomfortable, get a parent to help you out. And there, I'm just cleaning up with the razor to get off the sharp edges. And now I'm going to measure out five inches and three inches. So here I'm measuring out the three inch mark. And then again, just scoring the plastic, nice and easy. Not, not putting a lot of pressure, I'm just doing it repetitively. And here I'm measuring out the five mark. 
for the base of the prism. There we go. Now I'm going to measure out three three inch squares. And again, I'm going to score. And I'm popping. And then I use the other one that I had just cut away as the guide instead of the straight edge. Okay, so now we have three three by three space uh, pieces of plastic and we have one five by five. So what we're going to do is we're going to ultimately just get these sorted out together, kind of like this. We'll give them a quick wipe down. Ta-da! So what I'm going to ultimately do here is use tape to hold the prism together. And I'm going to clean up some of the tape. and. Uh, I'm going to use a hot glue gun on the sides to just hold it together and let the hot glue gun cool uh, so it doesn't stick to everything like my fingers right now. And once I have them together, just for a light structural hold, I'll pull the tape away and I'll give it a quick wipe down with some alcohol because it'll be easy at this point. And then I begin to glue it to its base. And I'm just giving a light tack and then I test with some water. And what we want to do is we want it to have enough glue that it's not going to block everything, but it won't leak water. Little did I know that my camera was about to run out of uh, space right now. So uh, we're going to do just a quick jump cut. I just wanted to make sure that there's no more leaks. And here we are. No more leaks. All right. So... With our prism now made, we just need to make a controlled light box. So this is very simple. I just measure out the flashlight and I just cut away um, a square pattern, fold it over, tape it up, and cut in a small slit in the front. And so now, now we have a very fine directed beam. So I went ahead and made a second prism in anticipation of next month's STEAM program as we will be continuing this study in light and color for the summer. And there it is, there's the prism. And you can see the beam of white light shining through and the ray of the component colors forming a rainbow. And here it is against the wall. And I've enhanced it so we can see the definition of colors here. And here is a close-up, and again, enhanced to see definition. Okay, so this is going to be the end of the steam. Save these prisms. Uh, go ahead and make a second prism. And next month, we're going to get really into some more of the theories and do some more experiments that are pretty neat. In the meantime, you can experiment yourself and try and tweak in the distances that are needed in order to be able to see a nice clear rainbow. Spend some time trying to figure out what maybe this could be useful for in our day-to-day -day lives. Until then, take care and we'll see you next month.